popping everybody back again about to show you guys another sample breakdown uh this one's a little drake future type sample and something you know i thought it would be cool for what a time too so you know let's get straight into this So you know right off the bat we got two sections really uh, like the intro section and kind of like synth drop section over here uh, so you know starting off with the intro we'll get straight into that you know the concept i was going for for this i was listening to that running track by like, 21 savage and uh metro the first one savage mode my mood that's what it was i was trying to you know get that kind of like evil kind of like like string kind of vibe old school vibe so i found the sample which was like a diana ross song and was kind of using that as like a reference point to kind of build something new uh so i, I had this little string plug in and I kind of started trying to just compose like something interesting or something similar to that. So I started with this. plugin I used for that was this violin uh, kind of sampled plugin called uh, Blisco Violin. It's, it's like a new one I kind of found recently. It was pretty dope by Felt Instruments. Like, I mean, it just gave me the exact vibe I kind of wanted. Effect-wise, I, I panned it completely to the left, or almost completely to the left. Insert effect-wise, I had a shaper box kind of messing with the volume. I think I didn't like how the sound was kind of I think it was increasing in volume and I just used this to kind of duck it down every so often and then just an EQ and then I sent it over to a reverb send as well which had a Valhalla vintage verb an EQ as well and I put like a tape plugin on it just on the reverb and then I filtered it with this filter I like using called Synalysis Creative Filter. I think the reason why I was adding all these things just to the reverb was because I think the strings already had kind of the sound I wanted and I didn't want the reverb to to kind of take away from that so I just wanted to dirty up the reverb as well just on its own to kind of get closer to the reference point I was going for and then second sound was this kind of guitar counter melody pretty simple I use this plugin called Remino one uh, another new plugin that I kind of found online um, it's dope kind of guitar sound really like quality recordings on effects so I just had an EQ and then I panned it to the right to kind of balance it out with the strings so they each have their own space I also sent it to the same reverb just so that they could accompany the same space so I just wanted it to feel like almost like I guess like a or not like an orchestra but just like there's two players in the same room and one's on this side one's on this side on the other side and they're playing two different instruments so i had that and then the last element i added for this intro was a choir really cool sound in choir i used genesis children's choir you can check that out effects i only really had another just EQing and a fog convolver. So this just kind of gave it like a more vintage texture. It's kind of like a mic kind of tone. So without the effects. Yeah, very minor, you know, but still all the small kind of changes add up together. I made this one completely mono, the choir, uh, and also sent it to the, to the reverbs and the other bus that everything else is going through so pretty much i just had a choir in the middle strings on the left and a guitar on the right so kind of like a little mini 
trio, I guess, of a band, a fake band, you know? Um, then together, obviously, this all added up to this. So yeah, for the B section, I started off kind of with this synth sound uh, that I found in, well, it was in, I made for Loophole 3. It's called Toxic. Uh, and I played out this kind of Metro-esque sounding melody. For this, I just had a shaper box on it kind of messing with the panning a little bit. And then I layered that melody with two kind of other parts. Um, this other sound as well from Loophole 3, sound called What A Time. Pretty simple, you know, just kind of following the progression of the first melody, adding a little variation with this right here, and maybe even with the shorter notes. Cause it seems like it acts kind of differently as I, yeah, play you know different length of of the notes. Um, and then I added this next melody, also following the progression, called Morty, also from Loophole Three. So all these, a lot of these synth sounds just straight off of Loophole Three. Oh yeah, and by the way, the other sound literally is not even in a mixer track, so I didn't even um, put anything on it. It was just straight the sound. This one the melody sounds like this. This sound, I just had a shaper box. So a shaper box kind of gave it like a weird kind of movement. And kind of giving more like a synthier movement. Uh, without it, sounds like this. So it kind of does give it a lot of movement and feel. I guess I, I really like this sound too as well because it's a synth sound, but it kind of does also sound like a string. So it kind of plays along with that same kind of emphasis of like trying to make something i guess string inspired even though i just like made it not sound like one so yeah those three elements i had which i then bounced out and then started chopping so i had So had that part, then I just literally squished it in half. Literally already gives it a even more menacing kind of bounce. Chopped it, doubled up the first part, doubled up the second part. Boom, I'm here. <laughs> I just literally did the same exact thing and took out the main melody part so it felt like a verse section. Then I had the choir come back in, I guess with like one note, just to bring back the, the theme. But yeah, it's pretty simple sample. Um, had the strings come back in over here as well, kind of with like a different note, a little slightly altered pattern. straight to it simple to the point weird sound movements you know get the job gets the job done you know that's all we need get to the to the result we want so hope you guys enjoyed that one you know oh i even had a little bit of drums right here Let's see what these sound like <laughs> <laughs>